everybody. This is the Pinker. Oh, I feel great. I feel great, man. I'll tell you, energy, ambition, rocking. I'll tell you what, your whole life turns around. Remember a couple weeks ago or last week I was talking about insanity? Remember I told you as soon as you get on, you start losing some weight, you feel so much better. I got a long way to go. I'm 265 pounds, dropped about 23 pounds. I got a long way to go, but I feel great. Why mentally? Because I'm doing something about it. Nothing like the source of momentum. This is what's going on now. Now it's momentum. I have a choice to make. Um, do I sabotage myself? Do I screw it up? Or do I keep going? I feel great. Right now as I talk to you, I have goosebumps because I'm doing something about it. And I just feel this great momentum coming in my life. And I really feel, people always say all the time, when you lose weight, it changes your life. It does change your life. It changes the way you think. It changes the way you act. It changes what you do. It changes how you talk. It changes everything. Today I want to talk to you about the big word in, uh, in the weight loss, I can't, can't, you know, I'm doing this HCG thing, go to pinkhcg.com, it's a landing page if you want some information, uh, my buddy Kevin Trudeau uh, is doing, the, he wrote a big book about it, and uh, if, if you hook up with our doctor, you get a free book, pinkhcg.com, but anyways, I hear this all the time, you know, I can't, I can't do 500 calories, or I'm going to try it, you know something, if you're going to try something, don't do it. If you think you can't, you won't. There's no doubt about it. Is it easy? No. Is this the only diet in the world? No, of course not. Of course not. If you stay away from the sugars and the breads and the pasta and the dairy and the processed foods and you drink a ton of water, of course you're going to lose weight. There's no doubt about it. I just chose to take a fast track. But I get sick and tired of telling people, or they ask me actually, hey, what are you doing? And I tell them, I go, I can't do that. And they're 900 pounds. And I can't do this. And I'll try this and I'll try that. You know what? Do yourself a favor. Don't try anything. you got to get your head right. You got to get your head right before you do anything. You know, I'm in the radio business, and as you all know, I live in large with Jeff Pincus. And uh, uh, people say to me every once in a while, "Hey, you know, how do I advertise on your show? Uh, I want to try the advertising." You know what I tell them? You know what? Save your money. I don't want to take your money. I don't want the radio station to take your money. The radio station's not too happy about that because if you're going to try something for three or four weeks, it's not going to work. Just think about going to diet for three or four weeks. That's not going to work either. I tell them, "Hey, look." You know, you know, three or four weeks, and you might get a bunch of calls, you might not get any calls. It takes a while to ramp things up and build momentum. So as soon as people say things like, I'll try it, right away, the red flag goes up. And I go, hey, you know what? I, it pretty much shuts me down because I don't want to waste my time talking to them. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm not a reborn again a dietitian, but it's just a question. You have a lot of energy, as you can tell, and I spend a lot of energy. I try to help people. I really care about you. I really want to help you. But when I hear things like I can't, or 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 I won't, or I'll try it, you know what? Save it until you make up your mind to do something about it. That's the only way you're going to do something. I don't care what it is in life. It might be building a model airplane. Okay, it, it, it might be it might be you know going on vacation. Till you decide to take a vacation, it might, it might be doing something with your kids. So stop with the I can't, and stop with I'll give it a try, and really get committed. Most people have a hard time with commitment. A lot of people don't like to write down their goals because they might see that they really have something there. Write your goals down. Okay, write your food down. I write my food down every day. What I'm eating takes about two and a half seconds. But I write it down so I see what I'm doing. And I start to journal too. And I build that momentum. So listen, get going. Summer's coming. It's going to suck for you to be fat. It's going to suck. People like the hot weather. I hate the hot weather being overweight. I stay in my house, I shut the shades, and I put the air all the way down. That's what I do. And most heavy people do too because they're hot, they're sweaty, and it's disgusting. So to weigh 40, 50, 60 pounds overweight and to go out in the, in, in the hot weather, it's absolutely horrible. But right now, uh, it's May, whatever the hell it is, the first few days in May, and I figure I built some momentum. Come June, I'll be down another 20, 25 pounds. At least I can get out of the house and feel somewhat confident. So don't blame, don't try it, jump in with both feet, get rocking, get losing the weight. This is a pinker for living large or losing large. Remember, to learn more about the diet, go to pink hcg.com and we'll see you next time so long everybody